The Latacrete NivComp and Elevation Pin System Training Guide. The NivComp and Elevation Pin System allows installers of Latacrete self-leveling underlayments to efficiently and accurately install flat and level floors with the highest degree of quality. This training guide will explain the use of the NivComp digital level for surveying a floor and how to use the elevation pins to mark heights on the floor. First, where there is no line of sight, the NivComp works around corners and from room to room. It displays results digitally on the handset display. Elevations are displayed directly on a clear LCD in large, easy-to-read digits. It's easy to use and set up and can be operated by one person. The second component of this system is the elevation pin. Our elevation pins are precision manufactured with engineered memory plastic that snaps back to vertical if stepped on and has a high strength peel off adhesive pad that has been optimized based on years of professional job site conditions to stay stuck to concrete, wood, and other surfaces. The NivComp system consists of a hose reel with retractable handles, a stable long flexible hose, and a display handset. Inside the hose reel is a fluid container and a locking screw. The display handset contains a high quality pressure measuring module and an easy to read LCD. Levels are very accurately determined by the pressure changes between the fluid container in the reel and the handset. The pressure changes result from the height difference between the handset and the fluid container. The reel contains a fluid reservoir and acts as the measurement point of reference. The handheld unit senses changes in height for precise vertical measurements. The hose is a 75-foot fluid-filled clear tube which connects the head to the reel. Place the case on a flat, stable surface and open it. The orange reel may remain in the case or be taken out and laid flat. Please note that the reel is a relative height point of reference for the system, so do not move the reel once measuring begins. If you do move it, make sure to re-zero the system. Turn the pressure knob on the reel counterclockwise until the orange light flashes. Let out enough hose to allow for all measuring points to be reached. Turn on handheld unit with one click of the button. Hold the handheld unit still at the desired reference point. Wait for zero to appear. Click the button to save the zero reference point. Avoid shaking the hose or allowing the hose to sway when measuring. Hose movement will cause the readings to fluctuate until everything is still. Move the handheld unit to a new location. The vertical distance to the reference point is displayed in millimeters or inches. The direction to the reference zero point is indicated by the arrow. When you are measuring a point below the zero reference, the arrow points upwards, and the light flashes slow when you are measuring below the reference point. Now move the handheld unit above the reference point. The vertical distance to the reference point is displayed. The direction to the reference point is indicated by the arrow. When you are measuring a point above the zero reference, the arrow points down. The light flashes fast when you are above the reference point. Move the handheld unit until zero is displayed. Zero indicates that you are level with the reference point. The light flashes with medium speed when you are at the reference point. The elevation pins. What is an elevation pin? It's a plastic pin that's cut and affixed to a substrate in order to provide a visual indicator of the required finished floor height during a pour. It improves the quality and speed of poured flooring applications. It's used with the NivComp digital level or any other leveling device. Its industrial adhesive foot sticks to all substrates. Its high quality rubberized polymer construction springs back when kicked or stepped on. And it has a millimeter scale on one side and inches on the other. Using the elevation pins. First, plan the grid. Next, prep your floor and sweep, shop vac, and prime the substrate. Plan out your elevation pin grid. Better flowing materials like cementitious levelers require an elevation pin every six to 10 feet. Low flow materials like gypsum based levelers might require a tighter grid of three to four feet. Plan to place more elevation pins near critical height areas like door jams to ensure accuracy set your reference height or zero point. Determine the required finished poured floor height based on job site reference points. Set this as your reference or zero height as previously described. Remember, the zero reference point should be the elevation where you want the top of your self-leveling underlayment pour to be. Move the NivComp to the first grid point. Read the depth measurement. This is the pour depth required at this point to achieve the finished floor height. Last, apply the pin. 
Cut the elevation pin with scissors at the measurement indicated on the NivComp display. Stick the elevation pin to the substrate. Repeat until the grid is complete. Pour the self-leveling underlayment using the elevation pins as visual guides to achieve required heights. The elevation pins remain encapsulated in the floor. Now let's talk about the additional NivComp features. Once a reference point has been saved, you can temporarily freeze the display. If you are working in a difficult to reach area and want to capture or freeze the displayed distance so you can read it more easily. The vibration filter. If the displayed numbers are jumping around due to vibrations on the job site or windy conditions, activate the vibration filter. Double click to activate the vibration filter. Continue measuring. Another single click turns off the vibration filter. Resetting the reference point. To save a new reference point, hold the button for about two seconds. Four flat lines will be displayed. Release the button. When the unit is off, hold down the button for five seconds to access the settings menu. The display will cycle through the five settings menu options. For calibration, click to adjust height upward, one millimeter per click. Click to adjust height downward, one millimeter per click. For the measurement units, Click for inches or millimeters. To reset, click to reset to factory settings. The NivComp display indicators. Battery low. The battery has between 20 and 50 hours of life remaining. Replace battery. Immediately replace the battery in the handheld unit. 1AA battery. Temperature change indicator. First make sure pressure knob on the reel is in the open position. If it is and C is still indicated, Allow the unit to acclimate to the local ambient temperature before measuring. It's always good practice to unreel the hose completely and lay it on the floor for 5 to 10 minutes to allow the temperature to equalize before you start measuring. Range exceeded. Move reel, reset reference point, and continue measuring. The Laticrete NivComp system is an easy to use, accurate measuring tool for leveling any type of substrate materials. Additional information can be found on the Laticrete website at www.laticrete.com.